My name's Alone and welcome to another Iron Man episode. If you want to join my Discord, the link to that is always at the top of the description. And also before we start the video, I want to say, can we try to get 200 likes on this video? I just want to see if it's actually possible. It would be so nice if we could actually reach 200 likes. So thank you guys if you do like the video. Also, if you want to see when I post videos, subscribe to the channel, get all of that out of the way now. And I'm doing some divination, just because I got a 95 divination, I think in my two videos ago, I think I got 95 divination. And uh, I got to 95 because of the incandescent energies, and they are really good for invention charge. I can already make 8, but I can make substantially more than that if I get some more simple parts, and they are very, very easy to get. So I'm going to get quite a lot of incandescent uh, energies. Some Seren Spirits is spawning as well. And uh, we're going to get a lot of invention charge to start off the video. I think about 12,000 energies is good enough of a start. I have some monthly stuff to do because it's just a new month. So let's do the Troll Invasion and open the Oyster. Troll Invasion experience book going straight into agility as always. 58,000 experience. What are we going to get this month? I'm going to uh, say 80k reward. Actually 1.2 million because of the enchanted hat for the lucky components. Other than that, as always, not too good. With the 10 hours of invention charge, I'm going to AFK some Rory now. And uh, I'm going to get at least some invention experience because I don't have that many equipment siphons left. I have a really hard time getting the uh, jewelry to actually get precious components to make siphons. I at least have one for this level 11 that's going to be level 12. But all the keys that I want are the quarters one. If I do manage to get the quarter signet, I can actually make the second ascension crossbow as long as I get the dragon limbs. But getting the dragon limbs is substantially easier than getting all the signets. And this is the last one, the quarters one. So let's see how many quarters keys we can get in quite a lot of AFKing. Thought I might as well actually show this because I just did an extended archaeology challenge and I got 47,000 experience. Last time I did an extended challenge, I was a bit lower level, like 54. And I got like 9,000 experience, so me leveling up to 74 now, because I just got that on this challenge, was quite useful for my experience on the daily challenges in the future. By the way, I'm at 9 quarters keys, and I'm going to keep AFKing a bit more. Ended up with 10 keys after another hour of AFKing, so I'm going to do these 10 keys, and if I do not get the signet, it is back to trying to get even more keys, but uh, let's hope I'm lucky. Only 3 keys left, but I got 50 million experience in constitution. I actually had no idea that was coming up, but uh, pretty much halfway to 120 in that skill then. This is the last kill I can do, and no signet. That means I'm also up at 858 legions total killed, and I only have one crossbow, but pretty close to two, so it's uh, not too bad, I guess. I've actually been doing about 9 hours of Rari and I have a couple of more Quartus keys but not that many, only like 4. So I actually decided to make the Scavenger 2 perk. I wanted the 3 of course but I don't have that many precious components and I kinda need them for the uh, equipment siphons that I'm going to use. But I did manage to get a 2 here and I'm actually going to use that on my legs. Because you can randomly get components then for invention. And look at that. Now I have a lot of stuff on these legs. And uh, you can randomly get like actual really good components when I just kill Rari. It's a 2% chance to get a rare material. And if I get precious components randomly by just killing Rari for hours or on hours or anything I want to do. That's going to help out a lot because I am struggling with getting components right now. And I can show you guys, I can make, I think, one equipment siphon, which I'm going to make right now. And my uh, ascension crossbow is pretty close to 12, but I can siphon the legs, they are already 12, so I'm going to do that. And that's going to be 93 invention. I actually went and mined quite a lot of luminite to make some adamant swords and rune swords, and tried to get dexterous components that way, but it was very bad. I mean, I spent hours doing it because smithing takes so much time, and I only got a few. So I'm going to try to get some magic short bows, they also give the components. I'm not sure at what rate, but should be okay, I guess. I want to try 400 and see how many I get. And then for the precious components, I'm going to try rare gem rocks in the Calgarian dungeon. I have no idea if this is good methods at all. I just know that a friend made a video where he disassembled a lot of gems and people hated on him for it. So 
I might get the rare gems, cut them and then make like rings or bracelets or something like that and then disassemble them, probably for the best. So before disassembling 419 magic short bows, I have one dexterous component. And now we have 62, okay, that is insanely good for dexterous components. I will do that in the future every single time, that is 12 equipment siphons. Now I just have to get the precious components. So as I said, I'm going to be mining these rare gem rocks in the Calgarian dungeon. They actually do not give uncut sapphires. I was a bit surprised when I looked at the loot table for these. It's only diamonds, rubies, emeralds and dragon stones, which is really good actually, because they give better chance of getting components, of course. But I'm not going to disassemble these uncuts. I am going to make them into jewelry. So I do have to go and mine some gold later, but I do have like 500 gold spirits. So that should be very fast and I'm going to aim for maybe around 400 just like the uh, magic short bows. Managed to get a decent amount of jewelry as you see of all types of different gems and I almost got actually 90 money as well 26k off but uh, let's see how many precious components I can get I have seven currently and after using all of these 25 precious components so definitely not as good as the dexterous ones I guess the uh, precious ones are just a bit harder to get but still 25 is, I do believe, 5 equipment siphons, so it is a good start. So only with Scavenger 2 I'm getting a decent amount of supplies. You can see here why it's so good. I just got 2 dexterous components, got 2 stunning components. I earlier got some swift components, evasive components, precise compon components, and that's all in 20 minutes. So you get quite a lot and hopefully I can get some precious ones. With only 16 minutes left of charge I'm going to use all the quartz keys that I got which wasn't really that much. I mean I already used like 11 keys so it's going to be 16 total for the video. So let's see if we can get lucky and get something in these 5 keys. Oh my god no fucking way. Oh my god no way. Oh my god that's the last signet. Oh my god I got the last signet. I actually can't believe that. That's like 900 legions killed, almost. Oh my god, I can make the last ascension crossbow. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh my. So what I have to do now when I have the last signet is I have to get the dragon limbs from the tormented demons. They are pretty annoying to kill, but uh, I won't use the ice nihil for magic damage. I'm using the dark light in my main hand and a chaotic crossbow in my off hand. Because you have to use all styles on these, otherwise you can't actually kill them because they just switch prayers all the time. But should be a decent setup. And by the way, I'm using Legacy because it is just more AFK for killing these. If you're using Revolution, it is really obnoxious because... Well, you have to use different bars because you have two different weapons. So you have to go between melee and ranged all the time. But as you can see, it's not too bad. They're dying pretty fast in Legacy. And there we have them, the dragon limbs, I was once again lucky on them, not as lucky as the first time because if I go here and I type tormented demons, I have a KC now of 145, as I said the drop rate is 1 in 256, but I started with 30 KC, so last time I got in 30 KC and this one in roughly 115. The absolutely last thing I had to do to make the crossbow was get 200 ascension charge and I will show why in just a second. But I have everything ready now and I actually used just 10 primus keys to be able to get these 245 shards. So let's make the crossbow. I now have everything to make the ascension crossbow right in my inventory. So let's first make the dragon crossbow. I do not want to make the two handed crossbow. I don't think it matters if it's the offhand or if it's the main hand, but let's just make the offhand. And now I create crossbow and I have everything. Yes, I want to make... Oh, so let's see if it's actually an offhand directly because I made the offhand or if it's a main hand. It is a main hand. So now I have two main hands and that is why I needed 100 more shards. So I can talk to this guy. I want to switch my ascension crossbow. And 100 shards and you can convert it and now this is an offhand and I have both the offhand and the main hand ascension crossbow. All I have to do now is I have to uh, augment this one and if you're looking at the accuracy difference this one has 1924 the chaotic one and this one has 2458 so quite a jump but um, this one also degrades, which the Ascension one does as well, 
but if you augment it, it doesn't. It only drains invention shards. And this one was actually a pain to repair all the time. I had to go and do dungeoneering because otherwise it's super expensive. It's either like 900k cash or 90 cash and 9k tokens. And uh, having to do that very frequently is also very annoying. So it's very nice to have both of these now. And as I said, I am going to go and augment this right away. Now, if you're wondering how many kills this actually took on the Ruari, I actually killed 90,000 of them. Look. One prestige is 60,000 kills and then 30,000 on top of that. So this took me nearly 100,000 Roari kills, which is absurd. Like that took such a long time. This grind has been a grind that I've been working on for probably like five years back and forth. Like I haven't obviously been grinding for five years straight, but I've been slowly working on this for pretty much five years. So getting this done is incredible. Wanted to add just some uh, budget perks on it as well, so I have at least something. I got Precise 3 and Equilibrium 1 on my first try, and my main one has Precise 2 and Equilibrium 1. So this one on the first try was actually even better, but now both of them are augmented, and I have 5 minutes of charge, so I can't even use them. So I'm actually going to get some uh, invention charge right now. And I'm going to have a look at, can I do Araxor now actually? If it's Spider Minions blocked. Okay, Darkness is blocked, so it's a kind of an annoying path. But uh, I can probably find some use for these and try them out. I think 34 Divine Charges is going to be enough just to try this out for a bit. I have 7 minute charge now and let's add all of them. All of them added and now I have 6 or almost 7 hours of charge. But I'm going to be doing some necks and look at this absolute unit of a setup now. No chaotic crossbow anymore, double ascensions and full sirenic with pernix boots, death touch bracelets, all good stuff. So let's see how this is going to be. I can't really judge off this first kill because I'm so laggy on this world. So I have to actually change world, but uh, let's see what the first kill is going to be. Hopefully I don't take damage from this because of the lag. First drop is Virtus Wand, which I don't actually need. I already have a Noxious Staff, but uh, wow, how much is that actually worth? Oh, it's only 7 mil in the main game, but uh, wow, first kill already a drop. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I'm pretty sure that offhands are barely DPS increases. I think it's like the main hand actually has damage and accuracy, but the offhand only has accuracy. So the damage is probably very minimal, the damage increase that I got from this, which means that the kills are probably going to be pretty equal. But at least I can get some invention experience from having this augmented, so it is going to be nice regardless, and I just screwed up a bleed. Oh my god, Virtus Rope Legs! That is exactly what I wanted! Oh my, I'm so lucky in this video, this is insane! Got my Ascension Crossbow, got the Virtus Wand, and the Virtus robe legs only the top now and i guess the helmet for a really really strong magic setup awesome so happy with that item but uh, my sirenic helmet actually just degraded so i have to make a new one but luckily i have a lot of the sirenic scales already so i just bought a thread for 500k and now i have a 100 percent sirenic helmet my other pieces are like 30 percent so they will last a bit longer I think I killed maybe like 10 necks or something like that and I got two items in that but what I'm going to do now to see if the luck streak continues with the drops I'm going to go to Araxor and do a few kills just uh, was actually out of food so I am cooking some sailfish and I got to 95 cooking and I have these super cooking potions that are boosting me to 100. Need 99 to cook these, so I'm getting a decent amount of them again. I think I have like 500 of them now, and I still have like 600 raw or something. Let's have a look real quick, if I can click on the bank. I have 662 raw and 530 cooked, so I have quite a lot of food now again. And another additional thing I'm going to do for Araxor now is I'm going to use a Shadow Nihil. I have so good gear now that I don't really feel like I need a Pakyak anymore. That was just an old habit from actually being way less geared and using a Sun Spear, but now I have really good gear. So I can go with a Shadow Nihil, which gives 5% 5 more ranged accuracy, which is going to speed up the kills even more. First kill with an eye heal and I feel like I have insane accuracy, I basically never miss. It is a 0% enrage so I will have to see how it is when I have the higher enrages. Basically used nothing in supplies, very minor so very nice. First drop is going to be 
Bane Stone Spirits. Second loot. Oh, Sourening Scales. Nice after I just used some for the helmet. Very smooth kills. Third for some herbs. I have four pheromones in the bank and I'm just shredding through this boss now getting five minutes or below six minute kills every single time. So I'm going to do quite a couple of kills now that it's good paths and I will only from now on show the more interesting drops. But let's see what we get here. That is an interesting drop. Spider leg middle. Only need one more now and I can actually f make a full spider leg. I already have the top and the bottom path is actually open right now. So uh, that's going to be pretty nice if I actually can manage to get one. But I also need the hilt of course. I don't have that yet. I only have the magic one which I made into a noxious staff. And the drop rate of getting the other ones is significantly more rare when you're using ranged. Okay, I actually just have to share this before showing other loots. 455 new personal record and that was doing the bottom path. And it has been changed since I did it. You only have to avoid one charge now from Araxi, which makes it really, really fast. And uh, that means the last leg piece is probably going to be pretty easy to get. Pretty decent loot actually, sorry Dummy Flasks are good. Now at 290 KC, I'm going to end the video at 300 KC, so I'm doing 10 more after this one. Triskillion Fragment 2, I think I actually have like 3-4 keys in the bank. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I have a full leg piece! Uh, well, a full spider leg, I mean. Uh, okay, that was actually, I think, the kill after. I don't remember exactly, but KC 292. Uh, okay, well, let's make a full spider leg. Unfortunately, I can't use it because I still need the hilt. Uh, maybe I should start using magic, actually, at Araxor. Even though the kills are going to be a bit more annoying, I might be worth it because that gives me a way better chance of getting the uh, scythe. Look at that, full spider leg. Let's make it. Do we get some experience? 100 crafting experience. Not the best, but uh, yeah. Full spider leg. All I need now is... Uh, I don't really need the web because the Noxious Longbow is just straight up worse than Ascensions. So the only thing I would want is the uh, Araxi Fang. Because this weapon is insane. It is a bit better than the uh, Dragon Hunter Lance that I have. So uh, would be nice to get that. And now I can do any path because I just need uh, the hilt. It doesn't really matter what path I do. But I think I'm going to keep doing the bottom path because it is so fast. Okay, I completely forgot on my first attempt on magic that I had Venom Blood perk on my other gear, which makes me immune to poison. And so I didn't bring poison immunity, which means I died. So I have to get that first on my Virtus or Rogue Bottoms. My gear is vastly worse for magic. I have uh, Subjugation tier 70 and 1 tier 80. Of course I have the tier 90 gloves and tier 80 boots. But compared to Sirenic, it is definitely way worse. I'm taking a lot more damage. The kill times are about the same, which is because I have the tier 90 weapon. Uh, I would say I'm going to do a couple of magic kills. I'm going to end off the video with doing only magic kills, but I might have to reset the enrage. I'm going to do seven more magic kills. And the first drop is Hydrox Ball Tips. Actually, really nice. I needed these. This is going to be the last kill of the video and the end of the video as well on that 300 KC Araxi. And the magic was not too bad. It is a bit more annoying than ranged. As I said, I take way more damage. As you can see on supplies, I used quite a lot, even though this was like 50% enrage only. But um, it's not too bad. So I will keep doing magic to try to get that fang whenever I do a Raxor. But let's see what the last loot is going to be. It is Battle Staves baiting me once again as a leg piece. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see my future uploads and all that. I got insanely lucky in this video and I am so happy about the progress I made in this one. PVM wise, gearing wise, all that. But uh, I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care. Wish you luck as well in game.